So when A and B are independent event, what do you know about independent event? That means PA intersection B will be PA into PB. That's what we already know about independent events. So, okay, this is given. Now they are talking about uh, then the probability of occurrence of at least one of them. That means they are asking us to prove that at least one of them means PA union B should be equal to one minus PA complement and B complement. Okay. Now, PA union B, we already know. What is PA union B? Is PA plus PB minus PA intersection B, all right? So PA, now A intersection B, we can put this value of PA intersection. Here we go. So this thing is PA, plus P B minus P A into P B. That's what P A intersection B was. Now, I think we can take P B common. And when we take P B common, what do we get? We get one minus P A. And what is one minus P A? We know one minus P A is P A complement, right? So this thing can be written as now, PA can be written as one minus PA complement plus PB as it is. And this thing can be written as one minus PA again is PA complement. Since we know PA plus PA complement, PA plus PA complement is one. All right. This is, we already know this so we can write pa is equal to one minus pa complement and uh, we can also write pa complement is equal to one minus that's it okay. so it this thing is now uh, is equal to now in these two if we see these two terms we have pa complement common so can we write it one minus pa complement and if I take PA complement common, this becomes one because I take negative common. So this part becomes positive minus PB. Same logic, one minus PB will be PB complement. So here, can I write it over here? Yes. Okay, let's write it here, which comes out to be one minus PA complement into PB complement. That's what we are asked to prove. PA union B, which comes out to be one minus PA complement into PB complement.